Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm going to be reacting to Phoebe Bridger's new album, Punisher. I've never heard of this artist. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. If you guys like this video, go ahead and click the like button and go ahead and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Um, let's get into this. I'm excited. Oh, starting off kind of slow. Okay, that was just the intro. I think that's what she meet this interlude is supposed to be like a DVD menu where you begin like the actual like movie. Um, which that was some really dark music. So, uh, <laughs> what is that? What is this? Ooh, her voice is tender. It's just like a oh, it's like it's very fragile. Mmm. I'll plant a garden in the yard. Glue and rope. That made a dark turn. She's talking about how her neighbor went missing. And how she gonna play at a gar- What? So much going on with this song. I, I love the background music. The storytelling, her lyricism is so on point. I don't know where we're going with this song, but it's so descriptive. It's like painful. I don't have to know. Told me my resentment's getting smaller. No, I'm not afraid of hard work. I feel like the song is so about so many stages that happened in her life. Like she talks about how her neighbor or a kid maybe she grew up with disappeared when she was younger and so she made a garden. Uh, there was something about maybe a little bit of sexual assault there in college in her dorm room. She said like uh, a person like grabbed her thigh and she woke up right before it happened. She's talking about like a hospital room and things like that. And there's so, it's so deep and so personal. I love tracks like this. So it's getting hard, but there's so much in that song to uncover and I'm not gonna know everything that she means. Um, but it's such a beautifully put together song. Ooh. It's giving me, a, I just wanna be okay, be okay. But that just also came into my song. My, I don't know. I could imagine this song on Stranger Things or um, I'm Not Okay With This or um, just some kind of throwback um, era. I, oof. It's giving me such vibes of that. Ooh. <laughs> I have to look up these lyrics for this song because I was jamming. Um, I love just the background of that song. I, uh, uh, it, 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 even the production reminded me of a little, um, Bay Bad Doobie. I, I still have a hard time pronouncing that group name, but it reminds me of that artist a lot. Here's the thing. I love music that is very personal. Her lyricism for it, um, is so good but i just wanted to jam to that song rather than just listen to the lyrics isn't this kairoto in like japan i feel like it's in japan it might be in japan i could be yeah I got bored at the temple looked around at the 7-eleven they have 7-elevens there the band took the speed train went to the arcade i wanted to go but i didn't you called me from a payphone they still got payphones it cost a dollar a minute to tell me you're getting sober and you write me a letter but i don't have to read it i'm gonna kill you if you don't beat me to it dreaming through tokyo skies 
I wanted to see the world, then I flew over the ocean and I changed my mind. Ooh. I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really good, I'm really horrible at decoding things because you never know what an artist means by this. I'm thinking she means it literally that she was on tour and you know, that all this stuff happened while she was on tour. Um, but there might be something deeper in this song that I don't know about. I definitely love the production of the song, but the lyricism, uh, I'm just gonna leave that alone because I feel like there's so many things in these songs that are going to mean something that mean something personally to her that I, I I would never know. But I do love the production of that track. This has a very interesting production to it. Like, it's not even, it's not rushed. It's very, it's like a, it's like a slow burn. That's what I'm, yeah. I wonder if she ever thought the storybook titles on the roof was too much. Oh, that lyric. Oh my god. This might be my song. Like, <laughs> this might be my song. Mmm. I moved to the east side because I love a good place to hide. Oh my. Girl. Heart it. It's I, it's already getting a heart. Holy crap. Oh, this is l oh. I personally love that song and Oh my gosh, just the, oh my gosh, I, there's, uh, I love her voice, but it, it encompasses all the emotion that I need in that song. Hands down, that is one of my favorites. And even the production wise, like I, I literally can just turn on my headphones and sit there and listen to this and just be like, in my feels. This is my in my feels kind of album. And I really don't like reacting really to these albums because it's gonna take me some time to actually appreciate what I'm listening to because I already do but if you ask me hey what specifically is that song about I have no idea none whatsoever but literally I love songs that just grab me and don't let me go and I can just listen and be amazed I love songs like these I love the use of guitars in this album as well. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Girl, then move. <laughs> I am awful. Mmm. <laughs> that was Halloween very simple song I'm I'm very interested to see what her past stuff sounded like does she have this theme of all the songs are uniform in the sense of it doesn't have any really highs and lows in the album um it's all kind of one steady kind of note in the album because like I don't want to dock this song if that is her you know actual like aura that's how she creates this is how the album's supposed to sound halloween is very interesting um she's like I, I wish i didn't live next to a hospital you know and maybe things go bump in the night and only call me when things are dead like that's <laughs> i feel like that was a uh, something that was very personal to her and very funny i i love this track um, but it's sounding more like a soundtrack than an actual like album where there's gonna be like singles and and things like that. So it's mm, yeah, uh, but everything's gotten a heart so far. So like DVD menu was very very dark, and now we're getting into songs that are not that of the main production. 
Um, I don't know if she intentionally did that, but like, I'm very, I'm very intrigued. One hour later. Hi guys, uh, sorry about that. I had to leave because uh, I wanted to read more of the lyrics. Um, as a reactor, I kind of just get a straight shot, one shot, uh, listen, and I kind of wanted to read some of these lyrics before I actually continue with the album. Um, what I've been picking up is that, like, Punisher, from what I'm reading of the lyrics, it's like those moments where you feel really uncomfortable, but you have to stick it out every moment of my entire life. And literally, it's my entire life. Like, uh, I I am uncomfortable in every which way. If I'm not in my own house, I'm uncomfortable. Don't know why, just Sam. Garden Song, I didn't know she said skinhead in there. What the heck? I had no idea. I'm thinking she's just talking about her neighbor that disappeared. She said skinhead. I was like, oh God. I really, really like the songwriting, but it sounds more like writing. Am I, like, am I wrong about that? Like, it sounds more like if she is just reading her diary and she made a song out of it. Um, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, if it's so, like, songwriter-ish that it doesn't even seem like songwriting anymore. It seems like an actual book. I, it's a very different writing style, and I have to get used to it. She kind of reminds me of Fiona Apple. Just a little bit. I'm alone until the feeling's gone forever. <sighs> you know what this was reminding me of? It's reminding me of Rain uh, Weaver. If anybody's ever listened to her, that's what this song is reminding me of. Um, I don't know where, I don't know where she been, but like, I love songwriters that are like this. And I especially love this song just because she's not, she's actually a little bit more singing. And I, I like that. I like that a lot. I The, the strings come on really love the way that track just gradually got better oh man Chinese satellite yes uh, I, I'm really enjoying this album but like the thing is I feel like not everybody's going to appreciate this album as much as I do and it's gonna bother me Like you couldn't stuck the stick your tongue down my throat and I love you more Okay, that was Moon Song. Again, there's so much content in there. John Lennon was mentioned. Um, somebody, something about somebody's baby dying and how there's no tears and like literally, it's like an overflow of like emotion and just, uh, like I feel it. And that's very hard to convey a song and actually have the listener feel something for it. Um, I'm kind of over this production though. <laughs> I'm not, I'm like, I'm not displeased with it. If it was just me listening to it like it is now, like, I'm fine with it. I love this production. But for somebody who is listening to it from an outside perspective who might want a little more, this is what you're gonna get. Um, there hasn't been much of a change up in production lately. So um, I think somebody should keep that in mind. Me as a listener, I love this kind of music where I can just sit, but I don't think it's anybody, it's everybody's cup of tea. 
but I really like the songs that I'm hearing. I do wish there was a change up though. I feel like I'm an outsider looking in kind of and I, I maybe that's the way she writes and makes songs but like it's a, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. Like hmm. And even if it's just a subtle or like a sound or something like that in production, I would appreciate that, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. So let's go to the next song, um, Savior Complex. I really can't say much about Moon Song because like I don't I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> like I don't I f I feel the other thing I'm noticing is these have very long intro intros and I'm not like here for it. I kinda just wanna get to the song. that entire song. Wow. I really like Save Your Complex too. Okay. This is where I needed the change up in the album. I'm glad I got a song that it's starting to change up, but like this should have been somewhere in the album somewhere. Um, I I'm glad I got one, but like. I've been It's amazing to me when you don't even know what you're talking about, but you still have an opinion on things. Girl. Okay. Okay, that, I, that was ICU. I kind of wish the production was louder. Uh, I really like the song, I really like the content of the song, but it's getting to that stage of the album where every song is starting to sound the same. And I don't know if that's a trend with her music. If it is, please ignore this fact. But um, I did like the switch up in, in the beginning because it didn't sound like everything on the album, but it slowly and surely started going back to what she was doing before with the guitars and the, um, I just wish there was a song that was definitive away from the album. And it just seems like all of this is something that you listen to, straight shot, go through. And like, I'm starting to get kind of bored with it. Don't worry, it saddens me too. Um, so that one's not getting a heart. Uh, I, please don't uh, take this as, Oh, she's not getting a heart because the song sucks. It doesn't suck. Her lyricism are great. I just wish she would do something either vocally or with production that would change in the album. Ooh. Oh, we going country now. Let's do this. love the way she just began this song. I am no longer a danger to myself or others. Oh. Oh, me. Take a go home. But she's not going to ask him for it. If they do, there's no I love how this is a song about being so confused and not knowing what the future is going to hold.
me. Like, <laughs> I uh, actually loved this song more than I actually loved some of the album. So, I don't know if that what that tells you, but like, I feel like this... And even the country theme of this song, I feel like it should have been carried out throughout the entire album. I feel like DVD menu sounded completely different than Graceland 2. So how did we get from Graceland, like, I, I feel like there should have been some connection in the album of pairing these two, the darkness with the country, together in a sense that it's not boring. Um, not that this is boring. I'm just, I needed something more. And I feel like Graceland 2 gave it to me, but I would have liked it earlier. We're in Germany, but I can't place it. Man, I hate this part of Texas. Excuse me, I, I need to go lay down while I listen to the song. I'll be back in like two, three seconds. Give me, give me, give me. Give me. <laughs> Romanticize about a quiet life. There's no place like my room. Oh, uh, oh. Okay, let's get through this, to right You can do it. You can do it. Okay, okay. Why is this making me so emotional? <laughs> ah, why? <laughs> oh, bring in the background vocal. I love when white singers do this. Bring in the background vocals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is how you finish an album, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. I think that's one of the best outros of an album I've ever heard. We have finished the album. Oh, favorite songs. Let's go. Uh, DVD Menu, Garden Song, Punisher, Chinese Satellite, Savior Complex, Graceland 2, and I Knew the End. I think this is an album where you, especially for me, I love sitting and listening to albums deeply rather than like first re initial reactions because I feel like there's so much I missed, but I will pick up later when I actually can listen to it. <laughs> but this was so beautifully written and like I would love to hear a, not even an album by her, I would love for her songwriting to come to life like this is like movie tv show like writing material um i don't know if she's a writer like that but i would i would read anything she wrote like this made me feel all kinds of things like this is a very coming of age kind of album i could be wrong she might be like older but i felt like when she was looking back at the things in her past or even in her future or garden song or just being confused or things like that it was one of the most impactful things because everybody feels that way some point in your life you're gonna feel confused you're gonna feel like maybe a little weird you're gonna feel like maybe things aren't working out the way i'm supposed to be like why am i so sad why am i feeling all these things and this album is definitely one of those those albums that you just listen to it and you're just like it's okay it's okay to have all these feelings. I'm interested to hear if she, this is the tone and the sound of her earlier stuff too. That is my reaction. Thank you guys for watching. Like, click the like button if you like this video and go ahead and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. All right, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.